Hello, my name is Michael E. Chave. I'm an AEC Technical Specialist here at ATG USA. And today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks on Bluebeam Review. Today's tips and tricks is going to be covering working with spaces. Now spaces are designed to enable more efficient punch lists and back check operations. Set up your drawing with spaces before punching and you'll find it easier to find, sort, and report the data in the markups lists. Spaces also allow you to designate name parts of the drawing on an invisible layer, and any markup placed inside a space can be organized based on the space they are in. So let's hop right into review and show you how this can be done. All right, now that we're in review, we can see I have a document set open that has some spaces already color oriented for them. And these were already brought out from the design software of Revit. Um, so if you're designing in Revit and you have rooms in Revit, if you have the add in of Bluebeam review, you can actually export rooms out to become spaces when you're in the design environment of review. So now that we're in review, I brought these spaces out from the rooms already designed in Revit. I can start adding comments to them and I can show you how these are gonna sort down in the markups list. So as you can see here over in the office area here, I've actually made some punch walkthrough markups here. Now when I scroll up the markups lists here, I can see those markups have been designated in a specific area. Now, if you want to learn more about the markups list, I've actually gone through a webinar. And if you go to ATG's website and YouTube channel, you can find my webinar that was about the markups list detailing how we could organize the data for it. So if you want to go more in depth on how to organize the data, you can go to there. But right now I organize by space. And we can see here I have the janitors and the office that have two punches within them, which are markups for my punch walkthrough such as electrical. And I can see that the comments specific to this markup that was created for my punch walkthrough, it says incomplete switch installation and exposed wires. So this needs to be addressed. And I've itemized it down here due to the space that's been created. So how do we create spaces if we weren't able to export them out? Let's show you how we can do that. So I'm going to scroll out and go over here to my stair two where there hasn't been a space created. So I can simply go over to my panel access bar, then go from there to space. And from space here, I can see the fan outs of the spaces that have been added, such as the breakfast, hall, janitor, kitchen. I need to create a new one for stair two. So I can simply go up to the addition button here of add space and I can be granular by picking points to points as I go through and do this missing my columns here I can then say what is the name of this space I'm gonna say stair 2 I'm gonna hit OK and just like that I've created my stair 2 space so again I can go through and click on the spaces that have been created such as hall and see where that space is. I can also right click on a space and create a snapshot of that specific space. I can also create an area measurement. I can also go down and rename it or change the properties of that space if I wanted to, such as the name, the color of the space, and the opacity that that space is at. And that's gonna complete my tips and tricks on working with spaces.